We're at Pickwick Lake down here in Alabama, right outside Florence Muscle Shoals, um, and we're having a good time. This is day one of the 2017 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. It's late May on the Tennessee River, and if you're fishing to win, you're probably fishing deep. Past couple years, I think it's been warning off a ledge, and uh, it's all about the water movement. This rain that's come through in the past few days is gonna help a lot. Uh, the weather's been great. They're pulling plenty of current, unlike last year. Um, so the fish are setting up really well, but just getting them to bite and not having to compete with other people for those schools, that's, that's been the struggle. With the technology available, finding the fish has become the easy part. I think the biggest challenge is, is just managing the other teams on the water. You know, all these guys got the electronics to be able to get out there. Garmin is so good right now. When you get out there and you start graphing, you can see the schools of fish. But then it's how do you manage that and how do you catch them? This is Austin Mize and Nathan Martin fishing for the University of North Alabama. They live here, and when it comes to fishing deep, there are few collegiate teams that are better. Uh, the biggest challenge tomorrow is just going to be your timing. You know, every, a, a lot of us have got a lot of schools to run, but it, whoever pulls up on the right school at the right time is going to be the difference. And, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, it's real stiff competition, so a lot of these guys have found the same schools, so it's just going to be a matter of getting your rotation and timing down and getting them to bite and getting them in the boat. Get the net. No. Broken off. No, oh, my, my reel. You got him still? Yeah. I think. I don't know. Yeah. Real just totally ate. Here. Hang on. <laughs> I thought I had a giant because it knocked the crap out of it. When I set the hook, my reel just. <laughs> like spun out. I don't know what happened. The UNA have made a name for themselves over the last few seasons as one of the strongest teams in collegiate fishing. They've won the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia two years in a row, and they finished second last year to the University of Alabama. Now they're back in the hunt again, sitting in third behind the University of Tennessee and Bryan College. And the team from Bryan know what they're up against and came ready to take care of business. You know, we still gotta have a good show to uh get this thing in the bag. And UNA will have a good showing. Yeah, because <laughs> this is this is their home lake and they've they've top tinned with both of their and this is a double points thing and both of their boats have been the top ten the past two years, so we've gotta really go out and do good so we can get this thing bring it home, I guess. With four teams qualified to fish this weekend, Bryan College yep. is focused on the school of the year trophy. They've got a game plan and they're sticking to it. One fish at a time. Come on, really? There's one. There's one. Here's Cole Sands and Nathan Bell. Yeah, I'll come, I'll come off. That was a good fish. Ooh. Another one came back and got it. That's a good fish. Is it? Yep. Yeah, no, it's not. It'll help. With five in the box, Cole and Nathan are culling. Oh, it's a game of ounces. Sure. And that Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia title is within reach. Feels good. We just got to get some better fish now but definitely an awesome start. Uh, we need two of our teams to come in like the top 60 so that's the whole goal it's just uh, we've we've tried so hard this year to to win that and being in the position we're in we feel good as long as we can catch a few which you know we figured we'd need 12 or 13 pounds, two teams with 12 or 13 pounds both days to win it, which we're getting close to that. So 